Just when I thought that I want to move on, I just happened to see this post and thought that I could move on. But for whatever reason, I decided to delve into replies. And oh boy, this is how the video was inspired. I know Innovation Awards have long gone. They announced it like a few days ago, so I guess it's time for me to talk on this matter. It has been living rent-free in my head for quite a bit. So essentially, the strongest battleground won as a best strategy. And what part of it constituted did they win? That they belong in the first spot? Well, bribery. On a serious note, some people actually do believe that The Strongest Battleground is actually branded as a strategy game. A lot of people arguing in the replies have very interesting arguments and I want to make this video as a way to break it down why fighting game isn't a strategy game. I mean if you look side by side, which one is a strategy game? And it will be obvious enough to see the difference within the game. But the problem is that one of the developers decided to double down saying that their game is a strategy because combo requires strategy, which is not their main component of the game. Ranking duels 1v1 or 2v2 is also not strategy, it's a game mode. There is nothing strategic about 1v1 or 2v2, it's just a feature that allows them to fight random without interruption. So what is strategy then? Strategy is a plan of action or policy designed to achieve major or overall aim. It's a side thing that can take advantage of in video games, in which the strongest battleground does not use this as a main component of the game. The main component of the strongest battleground is fighting. You you can take your enemies head on and your strategy is a contingency. Whether you'll be defeated or win against the opponent which does not heavily rely on strategy but rather skill. Which means anything goes. Well then, what's the difference with an actual strategy game? This game does not allow you to brute force. The game will heavily punish you for not thinking at all. Strategy is a plan of action and you must think carefully when to act or when to not act. There is no skill here. If you can't use your brain, soon enough the failure will catch up to you. Any room for error is just more disaster awaits. With this in mind, we now know how to differentiate fighting games and strategy games. There are also other games that don't belong in strategy at all, a dusty trip. The main component of this game is survival. It has some strategy into it such as rationing your food, water, and always looting, but most of it falls under survival games, which is also kind of a bit weird. I feel like it's not only the developer's fault for not being knowledgeable with this topic, but also Roblox themselves for allowing this. Two out of these games are an actual strategy and I feel like Roblox never played these games at all and just add whatever they feel like it. If Fishing Simulator applied themselves as a strategy game, Roblox wouldn't bat an eye and would put anything. As if they don't care. I'm just making allegation at this point. At the same time, I feel like the strongest battleground developer can't back it out once they were nominated in the best strategy. I mean, what could you do at that point? Who are they going to replace? I mean, I'm sure the strongest battleground weren't dumb enough to nominate their game as the best strategy. Right? I mean, they're literally in the best fighting category, why were they here? Which leads me, what is the best strategy then? Is it a genre or is it the side components of the game? Which is it? Lamao? As for the people that label this game as strategy, uh, look into the genre section in Roblox. Oh. Once they fixed it. You'll see they're gonna put up fighting instead of strategy. There, there you go, it's debunked. Regardless of your opinion, we can agree that people in Roblox are a little dumb and couldn't differentiate between fighting and strategy games. Thank you guys so much for watching, goodbye.